cancer cells die in many different ways. They can die by necrosis, they can die by apoptosis, and they can also die through a mechanism called autophagy, which literally means self-eating. And this is a process wherein cancer cells that are being stressed, in order to basically try and save themselves, begin digesting away parts of themselves in order to create the energy they need to stay alive. So it's kind of a cellular cannibalism, if you will. But it's an internal cannibalism, so it would be kind of like eating your own arm in order to stay alive. Um, what's interesting is that if the cells that have undergone autophagy ultimately die anyway, sometimes those, those autophagy events lead to the release of signals that might be considered danger signals to the body's immune system, such as the release of ATP or another molecule called HMGB1. And when those molecules are released, they alert the immune system to the possibility that something bad is going on, and it can stimulate the elicitation of, a, of, a, of an immune response against whatever it was in the contents of that cell that looks like might not be right. Because in order for there to be a productive immune response, two things have to occur. The first is that there has to be a recognition of something that ordinarily wouldn't be expected to be there by the immune system, like a tumor antigen, for example. And the second piece is a sign from the cell that there was something bad going on, that the, some things that shouldn't have happened occurred, that this was not business as usual. The cell wasn't just doing its dying business because it was time to die. There was something else going on. and so. If, in fact, many cancer cells are dying through the, one of these autophagic processes, it's conceivable that we could begin to study that and understand the conditions that are required to drive cell death that includes autophagy,